Hi there, my name is Cynthia Wakio. I'm the Communication and Events Manager here at Corporate Staffing Services. Today we're going to be talking about a training we offer corporate organizations, the Customer Service Training. I am joined by our lead trainer here at Corporate Staffing, who is going to be telling us more about this training. Karibu sana, Mr. Paminas. Thank you for having me, Cynthia. All right, let's dive in. Yes. Uh, what does the customer service training entail and what kind of organizations uh, is this training meant for? Now, when you talk about customer service training, we help organization to not only acquire, but retain uh, customers. And customer service is something that is taken for granted. Why? Because we assume, many organizations, they assume that we staff know what to do, how to behave when they're encountering customers. So this training is, um, the main goal of this training is not only to help the staff, especially the frontline staff, be able to acquire good customer service skills, but be able to take it to the next level. And this level is how are you able to derite the customers so that the customers can keep coming back, you know, uh, retain the customers. And beyond that, beyond even um, making the customers happy, giving them an, an experience such that the customers will even be able to recommend the business to their friends, to their family members. Yeah, so it's two-part process. Yeah. Offering good customer service, but also not just stopping there at offering good customer service, but offering a customer an experience such that when they're talking to their friends, they'll be able to mention about your business. And that is what organizations should aspire to. For example, just like you, if you go to a hotel, mm. you get a good experience. Uh, either the ambience was good, the food was good. What happens most of the time in this day of social media, you post about the good experience. Mm. Yeah. So we don't see many customers doing that. Why? Because we offer them just average experience. But if the person who's dealing with customers and this, it could be even from the Ascari all the way to the MD, if they make sure that they delight the customer, the customer will be excited to be able to sell them. Mm. The reverse is also true. Yeah. If you offer substandard service, studies have been done that a customer who's not happy with you, they talk to nine people about the experience and they'll be mentioning about your business. So you can see the task ahead is, um, is for all of us to be able to master customer service. Mm. Yeah. All right, you've explained about the importance of this training. So let's uh, dive down to the specific benefits, both for the employer and the employee. What are the benefits for each? I'll start with the employer, because I know majority of the people watching this video are decision makers. Mm. So as I said, number one, the, your staff will understand what is the process of acquiring customers and the importance of, number two, retention, client retention. Mm. And then... When you retain, when you when when you retain these customers, how do you make sure that you make sure you still you're not just retain them them for the next one business, but you get a lifetime customer mm. based on the interactions. Mm. So that's that's very important for 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 employers. And the reality is, it's very easy for you to uh, make more money, make more business from having a customer coming over and over, mm. um, retaining that customer as opposed to you getting going out there to use your resources to acquire a new customer mm. for the staff and i've seen this a couple of times number one it will give them confidence to face any situation mm. yeah so when you empower them you give them the confidence to handle all manner of customers the difficult customers the nice customers the customers who don't know what they want and you still need to engage them so one of the key benefits for the staff is to give them the, the, the confidence. Okay. And the second benefit is also they will learn the strategies on how to acquire and retain the customers. Like I said at the beginning, we make this assumption that, oh, customer service is so easy. Oh, you just need to smile. No, there's more to customer service. Yeah. And um, the staff having the skills, then uh, you can make them accountable mm. because now you'll have empowered them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's twofold. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it benefits the organization. Yes, for yeah. sure. I think uh, the bottom line, you can be able to see that, well, after we trained our um, our frontline staff or the customer service staff, you can be able to see after one or two months the impact that the training had uh, on them. All right. I wanted to elaborate what you've just said. Uh, success stories. Are there more other stories you've had from specific uh, clients you've had? 
Yes, uh, so two, I'll quote two clients. Number one is, um, it's a medical practice. Mm. So the reason why they came to us is the manager, whenever they were passing by, they would hear the way this person is answering calls and engaging customers and they feel like screaming mm. because they knew that person is not going to come. And you can imagine now the kind of people who cause a medical practice. I mean, these are people who are vulnerable. These are people who are looking for help. And sometimes they'll be over the phone asking all manner of questions. So you'd imagine if you don't have the patience, if you don't know the language of how to handle this customer, then uh, chances of you losing business are quite high. Mm. So that's so the, 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 um, the business owner brought us on board to be able to help this person understand how do you engage customers over the phone. Because of her walk-in, apparently she was very good mm. when it came to engaging walk-in customers. Yeah. yeah. And um, this person, they didn't know. They didn't know that it was wrong to do some of the things that they were doing. Mm. Yeah. And the way we even approached it is now for us to understand how do they handle customers. Uh, I, I proposed that I call and even some of the staff members call here to corporate staffing and record the experience. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we couldn't record because it's, it's illegal even to do that without someone's uh, permission. Yeah. yeah, but at least we wrote down our experience. And now during the training, we shared um, uh, their behavior and clearly they could see that mm. um, there were gaps. The other one is um, uh, it's a pharmaceutical company. They have the... So the front office staff, they're the ones who process orders whenever now the chemist owners come to buy... Um, uh, the drugs. And so it so happened that for them, the issue was speed. Mm. So you'd come, because the nature of the business is people will come all over yeah. and uh, they are making orders. So this, um, the staff, they kept dropping the ball in the sense that someone could come, they stay there for 10, 15, 20 minutes before being served. Mm. Because either this person is taking too much time with one customer or they were not, you know, fast enough. So again, we were called to try and help them to be able to understand and to be organized and to also to understand even during peak hours, because also you can't, it goes without saying that there are peak hours. For example, you find lunch hour, that's the time uh, most of the customer facing businesses, uh, they face a lot of traffic. So how do you handle such, such a situation? Mm -hmm. How do you make sure if a call comes and you're busy, how do you handle it? Yeah. Even the mere fact of telling someone, hi, um, Give me a minute, I address some, this person on the phone. Because mm -hmm. the person on the phone, they, do, they don't see the two other clients that are waiting to be served. Oh, yeah. Right. So such simple things that we take for granted, but they really um, they have a lot of impact when it comes to the business, mm -hmm. either positive or negative. And uh, for me, those are the two trainings that have stood out uh, even during this uh, COVID season. Mm -hmm. yeah. So take me through the process of when an employer is interested in this training, uh, from the first engagements to the last minute. So very good question. So here at Corporate Staffing Services, we endeavor to do a customized training. So it's not an off-the-shelf training. So because there's nothing called like customer service or customer experience mm -hmm. training, mm -hmm. unless it's customized to meet your needs. So when someone makes a request, uh, if you ask us just to send a proposal, that doesn't work because we don't understand the gaps. We don't understand you. And anyone just sending you a proposal telling you, oh, we do a one-day customer service training and we charge this much, they are doing you a great disservice, especially mm -hmm. if you choose them. Mm -hmm. So for us, you require a meeting. And during the meeting, we get to understand, oh, Cynthia, this is your organization. This is what you've identified to be the gaps. And then from there, in some situations, we even do a survey. We test the people who you want to be trained, mm. if there are many, we will do a sample. Mm. So we, if you have a customer service team of, let's say, 20 employees, we will sample like five of them. And the, the reason why we are doing that sampling is to be able to see the gaps you've identified. Are they truly the gaps that they have? Yeah. So you'll find when you do now that survey, yes, those issues could come out and even other issues. Mm. So then we also get to sit again and discuss. We say, okay, these are the findings. And uh, this is what you had proposed, but the other issues, or this is what you had proposed, but I think based on our interaction with the team, I think we better focus on only these three areas. Mm. So after that, we agree on the training areas. For our work now, we go come up with a customized training. We agree then on the delivery. It could be a one-day mm. training, or we can even have it in staggered uh, manner. And staggered, I mean 
uh, we can train your team for two hours in a day or three hours and then we take a break train next week we train them again for three hours yeah. and then the benefit of that training is that uh, when you train them in a staggered way they get to practice during the time you're not doing the training they get yeah. to practice and by the time i'm meeting them next then you find that they'll either have questions or they'll be able to share the experiences yeah. so companies differ they are ones who can be able to uh, have the training staggered yeah. and they would prefer it in one or two days yeah. and we also uh, do understand and we customize the training to to suit um, the needs of the client and then after the training we don't just stop there yeah. so we will do reviews after the end of the month you do reviews and you give you feedback and you'll also be able to give us feedback based on the performance of the team so what i want to emphasize on is it's that it's a relationship it's not a one-day training yeah. the training can be one day but what for us to be able to deliver to your expectation is to enter into a relationship where we get to understand your business we get to understand the staff the gaps then we administer the training and then we keep up with you to be able to know the progress yeah uh, what about certification very good question. Uh, so as we are NITA certified uh, organization, so NITA is the body that accredits trainers mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So if you are to take the um, training with us or when you do take the training with us, you give you a certificate which is NITA accredited. And uh, if you've been contributing to NITA, you can even uh, get a reimbursement for some of the uh, fees th that you charge you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's a good thing to be a member of NITA because you're able to recoup yeah. Uh, the cost yeah so for an employer watching this video and they're looking to empower their staff with this training what would you tell them what i'll tell them is that don't assume that the staff you have either at the front desk or any other client facing role don't assume that they know what is expected of them so instead of feeling bad or getting angry whenever you see them interacting with staff and making mistakes mm -hmm. i think the important thing is to be able to empower them and when you empower them with the right training, you can hold them accountable. Because since there today, if I come here and I see you have a gap, and then I train, I second you to a training, and I've done my best, and you're not yet performing, then it's very easy to have a conversation of why are you not keeping up? Yeah. But now if I just look at you and I say, how come you don't know how to do the right thing? Mm -hmm. I will be failing as an employer if I don't um, empower you with the right skills. And empowering you with the right skills, it's Part of that empowering means taking you for training. Mm. And for me, I've seen this change, fa ch change the fortunes of companies. And um, there's a return on investment because when you empower someone, number two, it works in twofold. Mm. Number one, you give them a skill. And number two, you motivate them because you're telling them also, I'm invested in you and I'm interested in you. Because the training you give them, I mean, it will, they will be able to use that training across board. Mm. But you'll be the biggest beneficiary. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your time and that insightful session. It's good to know that customer service is very important when it comes to attracting clients, but also retaining them. Thank you so much for that. Thank you too, Cindy. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you've heard from our experts, if you'd like your staff to delight your customers, then this training is for you. Please leave us your details in the form below and we will reach out to take you to the next step. Thank you so much and see you next time.